This is Thomas, N1SPY, and in this box over here, I have a TR switch. What a TR switch, it's like um, kind of an antenna splitter that allows me to switch between antennas and connect to more devices. In my case, I'm going to be using the TR switch to be able to hang my same antenna into my transceiver and into an SDR radio or a software defined radio. The difference between a TR switch and a simple splitter is that a TR switch will shut off the other radio when I transmit so that the other radio does not get harmed by the RF. Alright, so let's see it in action. So here's the TR switch. On the right we have our antenna in. The big black coax is my normal antenna. Then the middle one is the out going into my transceiver. And then the one on the left is going into my SDR. The TR switch also has its own power source. Under normal operation there's a green light but if I transmit or so much as tune on my transceiver, the red light will activate and it will shut off the SDR. Okay, so that was me tuning and I will do it again. So normally, the TR switch works off RF sensing, so it senses a radio signal going into the antenna and it shuts off the other radio. But you can also plug a special wire into the control up on top that leads into the radio and the radio can directly tell the TR switch when to shut off anything. I'm only using RF sensing right now, but on a bigger scale it would be easier to use the control on top just to be able to control everything with much more ease and to be more accurate and to not have any accidental mistakes that could possibly break my radio. So this is the software defined radio I'm going to be using and right now it has no idea what band my transceiver is tuned to. They're, even though they share the same antenna there are still two independent radios. To keep the two radios in sync, you can plug them into a computer, but I'm not going to be doing that today, even though it allows them to keep in sync and tune together. If you're thinking of buying one of these TR switches or one of its variations, make sure you look for what you want. There are variants that only keep one receiver on, and there are some that keep both on, like this one. I'm using one that keeps both on at the same time. So if you're looking for one of the TR switches, make sure you find the right one for your needs. Okay, so I have a lot more experiments in store, and thank you so much for watching this video. So anyways, 7-3 from N1SPY.